find the domain and range of the function f of x equals 2x over x squared minus 16. First, the domain. The domain is all of the values that you could plug in for x that would make this a defined function. Well, we know that we cannot let a fraction, we cannot let the denominator of a fraction equal 0. So we know that this function will be undefined when the denominator equals 0. Or in other words, undefined when x squared minus 16 equals 0. Solving this, I could factor this, or what I'm going to do this time is just add 16 to each side and say x squared equals, oh, oops, x squared equals 16. And then I'll take the square root of each side. And when you take the square root to solve, you have to say plus or minus. So then we have x equals plus or minus 4. So that is when this function is undefined. Uh, everywhere else, x is OK. So I'm going to put down here, I'll use a different color. I'll say the domain is all x's such that x does not equal plus or minus 4. So I can write that like this. Open up the parentheses. Negative infinity up to negative 4 not including negative 4, and then negative 4 up to positive 4, and then also positive 4 to infinity. So that's set notation way of writing all values except negative 4 and positive 4. I'm going to write range down here, and we'll get to the range in just a minute. I'll get to writing it. The range is all of the y values that this function can take on. So to, I think the easiest way to see the range is, is by a graph. Um, this one, you could uh, plot points or put it into a graphing calculator. We have these vertical asymptotes where x is negative 4 and x is positive 4. And I'm going to put those in here in blue and the, the asymptotes are not part of the graph this just simply shows us what uh, where the asymptotes are what the graph will not cross so I'll put the graph in a different color the graph comes along like this and then shoots down at that asymptote doesn't curve back it shoots down and then it shoots up going in the other direction. It comes down, it crosses through the origin. When x is 0, this whole function equals 0 because 2 times 0 is 0. Comes through there and then shoots down. And then coming in in this direction, it comes down close to the x-axis and also shoots up on the right-hand side of the x equals 4, um, the x equals 4 vertical asymptote. So if this line goes up forever and down forever, even right here we can see that this domain is all real numbers. So you can write that domain in set notation, all real numbers as negative infinity to positive infinity. And I have to be careful. I shouldn't say to infinity because infinity is a concept. It's not a number. But this is the set notation to mean all real numbers. So that is an example of finding the domain and range of this rational function.